In today's video, the emulator I am providing you will literally going to blow your mind because using this emulator, you will be able to run high-end games on your potato PC. And I am not joking, in the video, I will prove it. Although the system requirements for this emulator are not very high, you need a medium spec PC with 4 GB of RAM, an Intel HD graphics card, and a dual core processor. And for the 4 GB of RAM, I'm saying this because if you play high-end games like PUBG or COD, then for those, you need to have at least 4 GB of RAM. One more thing, the installation process of this emulator is a bit complicated, so make sure to watch the entire video. Let's get started with the video. Let's roll. Before moving towards the installation process, let me share my PC specs with you so that all your doubts regarding system requirements can be cleared. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 J's processor. If we talk about the graphics card, my PC currently has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which is not very capable. Now, let's proceed towards the installation process. The link to this zip file will be available in the comment box, and you can download it from there. Talking about its size, it's just 280 MB. Simply right-click on it and extract it. After the extraction is complete, go into the folder and launch the setup. Once you launch the setup, you'll see an interface like this, and you need to click on the Yes button, and the installation will start. After installation, an icon will appear on your desktop. Right, click on that icon and choose Run as Administrator. Many of you might be thinking that I've already made a video on this emulator. Let me clarify that the emulator provided in the last video was based on Android 4, and it had a lot of bugs, which many of you complained about. First of all, we'll change the language of this emulator, and then we'll proceed to install Free Fire. Simply go to the settings, scroll a bit, and choose this option. Here, you need to select the English language and drag it up. As you can see, the emulator's language has been successfully changed. If I show you the Android version of this emulator, you'll find Android 7. Now, let's proceed to install Free Fire. You can use the Aurora App Store for installation. Simply go to the App Store, search for Free Fire, and install it. Alternatively, you can use the APK method. Just drag and drop the Free Fire APK and the installation will start. Here, I have installed Free Fire. Let's quickly test it. As you can see, Free Fire is working perfectly. So, friends, that was today's video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video.